Greens'in bildiği üzere en, e, markayı endometriyoz için farkındalık ayı. Biz de bu farkındalık için e, bu konuda e, değerli olan e, kişilerle röportajlar yapıyoruz. Bugünkü konuğumuz e, ultros, ultrason konusunda çok deneyimli olan e, Profesör Katerina Exekustas. First of all, um, I really want to thank you uh, on behalf of our society of Turkish adenomyosis and endometriosis. And today we are going to talk about endometriosis with you. Uh, our question, my first question is, you have been interested with endometriosis for years. What can you tell us from your aspect? So it is, um, I start finally not with endometriosis as everyone, I start with obstetrics and then in the small, in the days and days and the eye and the years, I am interested in the quality of life and pain of the patients. So it was uh, every time I start to make an ultrasound and the patient described their pain, her discomfort, her bad quality of life, I understand that I can diagnose it. And it is often a, a, a disease that is undiagnosed by ultrasound. And ultrasound is the first line of, of, uh, of diagnosis that we do. It. We have it in, in our office. We try to see the uterus, we try to see the ovaries, but we don't understand that beyond this the endometriosis. So it is uh, in, the, in the years, it becomes for me really a, 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 a challenge to make. The diagnosis in patients never had a right diagnosis, especially the fertile patients. So it was uh, uh, then in my research, uh, actually my basic research of endometriosis and adenomyosis, as well as uh, some uh, other myometrial uh, features so that we can identify better with the samples. And what was the reason that pushing you to interest of endometriosis as you? Told, uh, told that. But the, the other interest was that um, I was lucky to have good surgery. So this this is why the, the team is very important because it's not only the diagnosis but also the treatment. Yes. And this was because I, I worked with a lot since many years with Professor Zubi, which is a laparoscopic surgeon. I went to the USA and I went to Manzoni. Uh, we, we work all together, and this was uh, the input that we don't are alone in the diagnosis. We are a team, we are a surgeon, we have a lot of uh, knowledge and management of medical therapy, which is coming much more out. We are working with uh, uh, patients' uh, uh, cooperation, so it is uh, uh, endometriosis is not one person, it is a team. Uh, as we know, you described endometriosis and adenomyosis diagnosis with ultrasonography and showed the way how does the ultrasonography is enough. And how can you tell us that? Do you need more investigations for diagnosis? As I told before, ultrasound is the first line. So it means that we must recognize at the first examination there is, that there is endometriosis, especially deep endometriosis. I will not say that we don't need any other further imaging because uh, in my experience was that I start every time with ultrasound but also we have some doubt and the doubt can be resolved by magnetic resonance. So uh, magnetic resonance is a second step. It can help us to make a diagnosis of the upper abdomen and it can help us uh, also to improve our diagnosis in ultrasound because uh, on adenomyosis we learn a lot from magnetic resonance, we learn a lot from idiosyncal and other type of uh, endometriosis and we know also that our accuracy is sometimes not too much in some type of endometriosis. I will speak about uterus acrylides which we need really a great experience to see them and which is a, the extension. Whereas we see much more better than magnetic resonance, the deep endometriosis on the bowel. So it is a, a joy, a, a, a joke to have the most important magnetic resonance, but also for magnetic resonance, the people who read the magnetic resonance as must be an expertise in endometriosis. And this is the same for ultrasound. We must be expertise. However, it is much more better to have ultrasound and to see at the first line the examination. Therefore. But, um, 
how can how can we the young China coaches? I mean, can we uh, how can we improve our such about photosynography of NLTS? Uh, yeah, young, the young gynecologists are much more lucky than before because they work with ultrasound much more. In the past, it was only people, a small part of the gynae that works with ultrasound. Now, every gynecology do an ultrasound because it is a tool in your head. So we have to teach them better ultrasound as we teach better laparoscopy. In the past, only a small part of gynae do laparoscopy. Now, if you are young, you have to do a laparoscopy. It's not this. This is a, a must surgery. So it's the same for ultrasound. So the, the, the goal is to teach to every gynecologist a basic ultrasound, but it's not only to see the uterus and to see the ovaries, but to see also outside the pelvis. This is the goal that we have now to teach to all the young gynecologists a good ultrasound lesson. And this is much more important than before. Uh, what do you think about adenomyosis? It's getting over the adenomyosis or it was even disease? Adenomyosis is, uh, uh, we are looking at, at adenomyosis since a few years and we recognize that adenomyosis is a very important disease, not only for the bleeding but much more for the infected patients. And we recognize that adenomyosis is not a disease of the older patients but we saw a lot of adenomyosis also in younger patients and, uh, and therefore the studying the myometrium very accurately, studying the junction and so inner myometrium, water myometrium, by ultrasound, all mammogram is a very important because it's really a disease that is coming out and we recognize it and it gives us good results if, uh, if we can treat them. And we hear today that the treatment can be medical, which is the best yes. one, but it can have also surgical treatment, and so it's very important to yes. map the adenomyosis inside the uterus to set the surgeon where he is, if it's focal, if it's not, and therefore I think it, uh, it can be a, a, a new a tool, um, also the transvaginal sonography or the sonography inside the surgical room yes. during surgery, yes. because it gives you the mapping of and uh, what are you thinking about the uh, future? What are you looking for uh, about endometriosis or adenomyosis? But, but the future, my dream, is that we can we can avoid too much, so much surgery, so yes. that to make good diagnosis and to have a medical therapy. Because actually now we do not really know why endometriosis is coming, and the, and uh, we know that uh, surgical treatment cannot be the only one and yes. we need medical treatment and probably we have to improve this because too much surgery is also for the patients a lot of problems and uh, we have too much surgery on the ovaries, too much surgery on the bowel uh, which are not uh, good for the patients, a lot of complications so we have to deal with uh, what we call less is better than yes. research, but the diagnosis has to be there. Uh, what do you think about the awareness of endometriosis all over the world? Oh. Awareness. Awareness yes. about the endometriosis all over the world. Uh, but uh, we cannot speak over all the world because the world has different um, um, approach in endometriosis. If you think about uh, Europe and you think about USA, or uh, it is completely different. Yes. So they have, uh, they have different surgeons. Uh, our surgical in Europe, the surgical quality is very high. We have uh, in Italy, especially, we have the most important research of endometriosis in Italy, and especially in the yes. University of Milan. So it is different to say what is the world. We have to give. Um, uh, really the, the, the rules, how to treat the patients, how to treat an endometrioma, not to treat too much because you see that what we do so worsen in the, in the ovarian reserve. So we have a lot of pa young patients that have only half of the ovaries because we want to treat every cyst. So we have to pay attention 
and uh, the world is too much to say what ha can happen, yeah. and especially in USA we have different ideas. Yeah, so we need to improve it. Yes. And my last question is that, how is the management of endometriosis in your country? I mean, not the medical approach, how is the patient is getting the special market? As every country, we have some endometriotic center, and uh, if the patient uh, comes in this endometriotic center, often she has a good uh, quality of, uh, of management. The problem is that in Italy, we don't have a certification like in Germany of the endometriotic center. So it is very difficult to the patients to understand which is a good one or which is a bad one. Because if everyone know that sometimes uh, there are centers that do, 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 do a management only for money and the other only for research. And it's, it's very difficult to understand. And we are trying, as with uh, similar to Germany, to make a certification, but the certification is quite difficult because uh, who is certificating that you are a good surgeon or not? Who are certificating that you are a good ultrasound or not? And this is what we have the problem. So we have very nice endometriotic center. Often they are around a very good surgeon, which is also not a good thing because uh, surgery is very important, but also medical therapy is important. So it is not good to have only the surgeon. But this is our, in Italy our now our management. In Germany is different, in France also, so also in Europe is something different. <laughs> Changing country, country. Country, yes, because it, it is too much um, connected to the person. Mm. So, if you are a very good surgeon like Manzoni, then probably you are not good in a medical therapy. Yes. Or you are not, uh, you are a very good surgeon and you are not too good in ultrasound. And so, it is uh, uh, sometimes you have to, to balance, balance yes. and it's good to have a team. For this, it's good to have a team. But not all the center had a good team for all. Yeah. Uh, I really want to thank you again on uh, behalf of our um, society of endometriosis and adenomyosis of Turkey. I thank you and I thank you also for this invitation to Antalya. And I hope that you can come to Europe. We have now the European Liga and, yes. uh, and so we can have uh, the opportunity to share our European um, uh, culture of endometriosis with other, with other countries, which is very important. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you.